I'm Sam Batnin, and I'm the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited. Nero was born in the year 37 and died in the year 68 AD. According to the historian Suetonius, he served as Rome's fifth emperor from AD 54 to 68, and he was a fan of murder. Clad in disguise, he assaulted passing pedestrians in black alleys, stabbed them repeatedly, and dumped the bodies into the sewer. When Nero was almost killed by one of his would-be victims, he surrounded himself with armed bodyguards who overcame any unexpected resistance. Nero's original name was Lucius Domitius Ahenobarbus. When Agrippina the Young married her uncle, Emperor Claudius I, she convinced him to adopt the child, and he acquired his new name, Nero Claudius Caesar Drusus Germanicus. Nero married his stepfather's daughter, Octavia. He was declared emperor at the tender age of 17. Nero prom promptly had his mother poison Claudius' son, Britannicus. But his first five years were marked by the moderating influence of Burrus, the prefect of the Praetorian Guards, and of the philosopher Seneca, his tutor. In these first five years, Nero abolished the pernicious habit of secret trials, put the affairs of the state at the hands of a nascent bureaucracy, made the Senate more independent. He forbade bloodshed in public circus contests, abolished capital punishment, reduced taxes, and allowed slaves to sue their unjust masters. Nero initiated competitions in poetry, drama, and athletics. He pardoned plotters and authors of scathing epigrams against him. Claudius, by comparison, had executed 40 senators for treason. Nero even helped the Jews a scourge of the Roman Empire and rehabilitated disaster-stricken cities. But then, after five years, there was a marked and mysterious change for the worse. Nero murdered his mother, who criticized his mistress, whom he later married, having executed Octavian. Burrus died, probably poisoned. Seneca retired to his estate. Two-thirds of Rome burned to the ground in July 64. Nero was in Antium at the time, 60 kilometers away. Nero did not burn the city, and he did not play the violin or the lyre while it burned. It is dubious whether, as Tacitus and Suetonius claim, he blamed a few Christians in Rome for the conflagration. We know that he did not persecute them. On the contrary, Nero sheltered the homeless and rebuilt Rome with strict fire precautions. His contemporaneous notoriety had to do with the fact that he appeared as an actor, lyre player, and charioteer in religious dramas all over the empire, sometimes absent from Rome for as long as 15 months at a time. Following a coup and assassination attempt, he executed 18 of the 41 conspirators, including his beloved Seneca. He kicked his wife to death, murdered Statilia Messalina's husband, and wed her, and finally, faced with the rebellion of his legions, he fled Rome and committed suicide.